Makeup tutorial. I'm going to be doing this Rasta Festival Glam look. Now I'm a rookie when it comes to anything glam makeup, so please do not judge me too hard. I know I'm bad. So we're going to jump straight into the video. So let's go. So first, I'm going to prep my face by spraying my Mac Prep and Prime Rose Water Spray along my face. Now that you're all up close and personal, we're going to start with the eyebrows. Now I'm using my angled brush over here. And I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I'm first going to comb out the hairs on my eyebrows to make them all neat and tidy. And then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Brow Dip and outline the shape of the brow that I wish to achieve. So I always start by outlining the bottom first. And then I'm going to go ahead and outline the top as well, making sure that I'm bringing the bottom line over here together to make it as smooth as possible so it looks nice and swifty. Once I'm satisfied with the shape of my brow, I'm going to gently and lightly fill in the inside of the hairs. I make sure I always smudge the product out, um, the product of the liner out, just so I don't have a harsh outline on my eyebrow. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW15 and I'm going to cut the eyebrow to make it as sharp and smooth as possible. So if I cut, I'm pretty much outlining it. Now I'm going to use a very small flat brush to apply this to my brows and I'm only using a little bit of product at a time. So I'm going to start by outlining the bottom of my brow first. And then I'm just going to constantly try and blend that out. Now I am going to apply quite a lot of concealer to this area of my lid. Just because when I go in with my eyeshadows, I want to make the colour as vibrant and pigmented as possible. And the concealer helps me do that. Now I'm going to lightly do the same to the upper half of my eyebrow. And I'm just going to gently blend the outline out. Now that my brows are roughly done and dusted, I'm going to buff out the concealer on my upper lids just so that I can make it as smooth as possible for when I apply some eyeshadow onto it. Now the concealer on my lids acts as a very sticky base, so I'm going to try and smoothen out that base by applying some Australis Translucent Powder onto the lid. Now while I'm applying the eyeshadow to my eyeballs, I'm going to do a voiceover just because some of the things that I explain are a bit complicated to think of on the spot, so I think me doing a voiceover is the smartest thing to do. So there will be a little bit of an audio change, but it shouldn't be too much of a difference. It's still my annoying voice, don't worry. Now I'm going in with my Magic Palette by Juvia's Place and I'm using my MAC 217 brush to apply this emerald green colour to the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm 
Next, I'm taking my Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm gonna lightly go over the emerald green with this light shimmery green using the same 217 brush. Now I'm using this bright yellow color from the Zulu palette and my nude eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna apply this color in the middle of my upper lid right next to the green. Now I'm gonna take the 217 brush I used before and apply a little bit of that light green shade between the yellow and the green. And then I'm gonna go back with the yellow brush and gently glide that through the shadows to make it blend in more. After that, I'm gonna grab my big fluffy eyeshadow brush from my new collection and apply this bright red shade from the Magic Palette onto the outer corners of my eyelid. Now this color is extremely bright in comparison to the yellow and the green, so I'm applying small amounts at a time to ensure I don't mess any of the other shadows up. Then I'm gonna go in with some yellow to blend in with the red, and then I'm gonna bold in the yellow up with this shimmery gold from the same Magic Palette. I'm also going to apply some more green to make the color pop as much as the yellow and the red. Next, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW15 and I'm going to put this along my upper lash line like so. While the concealer is still wet, I'm going to open my eyes and look around so it gives me a rough outline for my cup crease. Using a small thin brush, I'm going to go over that line with some more concealer to fill the outline of my cut crease and tidy everything up. Next, I'm going to use my Garnier Cleansing Water and a Q-tip and I'm going to clean my lids so I don't have any layers of makeup on my eyeballs and I have a fresh canvas to work with. I'm then going to fill in my lid with some more concealer. I'm going to buff out the concealer using a fluffy eyeshadow brush and while the concealer is still sticky, I'm going to take my Saharan palette from Juvia's Place and apply a thick layer of the shimmery silver colour. Next I'm taking the shimmery gold pigment by Ingla and applying that all over the lid as well. After that, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Pen and I'm going to apply some of that liquid glitter onto my cup crease line. Next, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and create a clean straight line from the outer corner of my eye towards the very tip of my eyebrow. Now before I go in with some eyeliner and mascara, I'm going to start doing my first. So I'm going to start off by applying a little bit of foundation. Now I never wear foundation, I hate the way it feels on my skin, that's why I never wear it. So when I do wear it, I only apply about that much. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know. Today I'm using my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Foundation. It's SPF 15 and it's in the Honey Beige Skin Tone. Now, I don't use a brush or a beauty blender to apply this to my face. I just use my fingers because I'm there still like that. Next, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer once again, NW15. And I'm going to apply it just below my eyes. I'm going to go along the bridge of my nose very, very lightly just because this concealer is very concealery. <laughs> so I always spray my beauty blender when applying makeup with the rose water spray just because it helps set the makeup even more. Ah. Ooh. Next, I'm going to go in with a big fluffy foundation brush and I'm going to apply some loose powder in a medium skin tone once again onto my face. Next, I'm going in with my Take Me On Tour Australia's Contour and Highlighting Kit and I'm using this banana powder shade over here. Now, I'm only lightly applying this under the areas of my eye and the bridge of my nose only because I went in with a really pigmented concealer and I don't want too much going on and there's areas, because that's when I just look silly. After that, I'm gonna go in with my Napoleon Purtis bronzer and an angled contour brush, and I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones, my temples, a little bit of the bridge of my nose, and even a bit of my jawline. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna apply some highlighter onto my cheekbones and the little point on my nose. I'm using my Australis Highlight Illuminating Strobe Powder. Now I'm gonna go in with my synthetic highlighter brush. Now that my face is all done and dusted, I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna bring you guys back in and I'm gonna do a voiceover of how I do my eyeliner, mascara, eyelashes, and all the other mumbo jumbo stuff. First, I'm gonna take my Pegasus Liquid Eyeliner Pencil by Pony Cosmetics and start by drawing a line from the outer corner of my eye and dragging it towards the end of my eyebrow. From there, I'm gonna gently glide the pen from the tip of the wing all the way across my upper lash line like so. Then we're going to take a cheap eyeliner pencil and fill in my upper waterline. After that, I'm going to apply some mascara onto my eyeballs. Next, I want my bottom lids to match my upper lids, so I'm going to fill in the middle of my lower lid with yellow. Then I'm going to highlight the inner corners with green, and then finally apply some red on the outer corners before taking my black Bobbi Brown eyeliner gel onto my waterline. After that, I'm also going to put on some fake eyelashes to give the look more bedazzle. Now to apply some glitter. We're going to grab some hairspray, spray some in a short glass until a small amount of liquid is in the bottom, and I'm going to use this to glue on the glitter like so. So I decided to put the yellow gold under my eyes, a splash of green above my eyebrows, and a sprinkle of red around my temples. I also decided to glue on some miniature stars to make it more OTT than it already is. <laughs> Now finally, the lips. Using a cheap brown lip liner pencil, I'm gonna line my lips before filling them in with my Astralis Vivalicious Matte Lipstick in the Auckland shade, before adding a thick layer of lip gloss onto my lips. like what you see and you want to see more give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel at lady voodoo and follow my instagram at lady voodoo i hope you enjoy this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye